in those times, not always, but in those times when I was able to be for someone else, what I actually needed, I got what I wanted. I got what I needed. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I am your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! I think my voice cracked there. I'm going through wolf adolescence, I believe. This is episode 145 of the Sales Wolves podcast, and this is going to be a quick one for you guys today, but I feel like it'll be a very impactful one for many of you. And so the title of this episode is if you need it, be it. If you need it, be it. And so I want to start off by giving you an example. There has been times in my life where I have felt lost and where I have felt hopeless where my life felt very chaotic and I needed encouragement. And in those times, not always, but in those times when I was able to be for someone else, what I actually needed, I got what I wanted. I got what I needed. And so let me, let me just put it this way. If, if you need encouragement, then encourage someone else. If you're feeling hopeless and you need hope in your life, then go give someone else hope. If you are in a place where you feel like, man, I just need, I just need some, I just need help. Go help someone else. And in the process of doing so in the, in the process of pouring into someone and encouraging them, you will be encouraged. In the process of being able to pour into someone and give them hope, you will receive hope. On the flip side of this equation, it's important to understand that if you're in a place where you feel like, man, I just, I can't trust anybody. Like nobody can be trusted. I would challenge you and, and, and beg to say that you are probably a untrustworthy person because if nobody else can be trusted, then you probably can't be trusted. And if you were someone that was trustworthy, then you would attract other trustworthy people and you would find the trustworthiness in those people that are around you. You hear people say like, Oh, I only trust God. I never trust people. That's something that an untrustworthy person says. And so the challenge in that is to really take a hard look at yourself. And this is self-awareness 101. It's looking at yourself and saying, what if these things that I claim to not be able to find in others is actually what's lacking within me? And then taking the next step of being that for someone else. And in that process, not only receiving that for you, but then being able to see it in others. So let's just say trustworthiness as we just use that example. If I realize that, man, I'm just, I'm not the most, I'm not the most trustworthy person in the world. Start trusting the people around you. And start being someone that can be trusted. You know, you ever hear someone say, um, man, they just, they just don't get it. Like no, nobody get, no, they just, they just don't get it. Right. Well, that it that they don't get is you. And so what is it about you and the way you are conveying that, which you feel like they don't get, what is it about you that they don't trust? What is it about you that they're not being encouraged by? And then how can you be that for them? And in the process, become that for yourself. So whatever it is that you feel like in your life, you need mentally, emotionally, spiritually, 
how can you take steps to be that for somebody else? And, you know, it's, it's a simple sowing and reaping process. If you plant seeds of hope in someone else, then when the harvest comes, when those seeds of hope start to bear fruit, you are going to be on the receiving end of that hope as well. If you need encouragement, start planting seeds by encouraging other people. And through the process of encouraging somebody else, you will yourself be encouraged. So if you need it, be it. What is it right now in your life that you feel like you need? What is it? The second that I ask that, what is it that you need in your life right now? The second that I ask that, the thing that hits you, like that, that's it. So how can you be that for somebody else today? How can you do that for somebody else today? That's my challenge for you on this podcast. Figure out what it is that you need and then figure out who in and around you can you do that, be that for and watch it transform in your own life. The nice thing is that you're going to end up seeing it happen in that person's life as well. And to me, that's, that's what life is all about. It's about being a blessing to other people, but the understanding that you will be blessed by being a blessing to other people and that you are a blessing to bless other people. And so whatever it is that you feel like you need right now, I challenge you. I encourage you be that for somebody else today. This is episode 145 of the sales wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!